The Children's Bible, Luke 8 and Matthew 13. Jesus preaches in parables. It came to pass that he went throughout every village and city preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. The twelve apostles were with him, and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and sicknesses. Mary, called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who cared for him out of their means. By the seaside great multitudes were gathered together about him, so he went into a boat and addressed the multitude who stood on the shore. And he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and ate them up. Some fell on stony places, where they had not much earth. And when the sun arose, they were scorched, because they had no root, and they withered away. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And he said, To you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the others I speak in parables that seeing they may not see, and hearing they still may not understand. Now the meaning of the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Those in the rock are they who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And having no roots, they believe for a while, but in time of temptation fall away. Those which fell among thorns are they, who when they have heard, go forth and are choked with the cares and riches and pleasures of this life, so that their faith never ripens. But the seed on the good ground are they, who with honest and good hearts, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. <clears throat> he put forth another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in the field. It is indeed the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and build nests in its branches. Another parable he gave to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field, but while he slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way. So when the blade sprung up and brought forth fruit, the tares appeared also. So the servants of the man came and said to him, Did you not sow good seed in the field? From where then have come the tares? An enemy has done this, he said to them. And as the servants asked, Do you wish then that we go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you root up the wheat with them also. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather together first the tares, and bind them into bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. All these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables. He did not speak to them without a parable, so that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret since the foundation of the world. Then Jesus sent the multitude away, and went into a house, and his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. And when they were alone together, he answered, He that sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and those who do evil, and they shall throw them into a furnace of fire, and there shall be a wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous shall shine forth like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net which was cast into the sea, and it gathered all kinds of fish. When it was full, they drew it to shore, and sat down, and put the good into vessels, but threw the bad away. 
So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and separate the wicked from the just, and cast them into the furnace.